Mild traumatic brain injury. You are listening to the audio brochure, Mild Traumatic Brain Injury. You have been diagnosed with mild traumatic brain injury. You have been treated for this by one of the VU University Medical Center physicians. This audio folder will provide information regarding the possible consequences of this type of brain injury and offer advice. What is mild traumatic brain injury? Mild traumatic brain injury is caused by a blow to the head, an abrupt movement or an accident. The brains are shaken for a short period, which can cause a short loss of consciousness, memory loss or dizziness. You may not remember the incident itself or a short time preceding the event or you may not remember a certain period after the accident. As the brain is incapable of processing information during this time, this type of memory loss cannot be reversed. It is therefore futile to try and remember what happened. Complications. Mild traumatic brain injury is a relatively innocent ailment. In exceptional cases, Complications arise in the first 24 hours. Physicians are trained in assessing which patients may develop complications. Your attending physician will then decide whether you need to stay in hospital. When the attending physician decides, after careful examination, that the risk of complications is virtually non-existent, you may return home. Mild traumatic brain injury usually passes without leaving any permanent symptoms. In the first few days or weeks, you may suffer from headaches, dizzy spells, fatigue or drowsiness, loss of memory or concentration, forgetfulness, or you may experience blurry vision, increased irritability, ringing in the ears or hearing loss, heightened sensitivity to light or noise, or nausea. Complications can vary per patient. Advice. Rest often lightens the symptoms, but you do not need to stay in bed all day. Reduce the amount of time you spend in bed so that you are up and about within a few days. You can then return to work. Working part-time or taking extra breaks can help you to return to work. If necessary, agree on a schedule with your employer or company physician to build up your hours at work. The same applies for school. You are advised to build up your activities slowly. If you experience any loss of concentration, sensitivity to noise or memory problems, it is important to note that these are temporary issues. We advise you to take regular breaks, allow yourself more time to finish jobs, make more notes, and possibly even put off taking exams. Minimize the amount of time spent watching television or using a PC. Use of alcohol is discouraged this will slow down your recovery. If alcohol was the cause of the accident that led to your injury, contemplate your use of alcohol and discuss this with your family physician if necessary. Sports can be taken up again, provided you are able. Only sports that risk traumatic brain injury such as football, hockey or boxing are discouraged. Sports associations may have their own directives regarding brain injuries. There are no legal constraints against driving. However, driving a car or motorcycle is discouraged until you are sure you have regained your focus, can respond quickly to unexpected situations, and can judge distance as well. Use of paracetamol against headaches can get you through the day. Take a maximum of six times 500 milligrams every 24 hours. 
By successfully suppressing the pain, it is possible to function well during the day and sleep better at night. It is advisable to limit the long-term use of paracetamol because this can cause chronic headaches. Follow-up. If your physical ailments continue or worsen dramatically, you should contact your family physician. He or she will determine whether an appointment with a neurologist is necessary considering your symptoms. Addresses VU University Medical Center, De Bolalan 1117 1081 HV Amsterdam. Phone number 020-444-4444 Neurology Department 020-444-2220 Emergency Room 020-444-3636 Websites Dutch Brain Foundation Hersenstichting Nederland www.hersenstichting.nl Dutch only. Dutch Brain Injury Association for Einiging Cerebral Hersenletzel, www.cerebral.nl, Dutch only. Dutch Traffic Casualty Association for Einiging Verkehrsslacht Offers, www.verkehrsslachtoffers.nl, Dutch only. VU University Medical Center, March 2013.